Welcome back to The Fuel Show. Now, I won't be the first to say this, and definitely not the last. Have you noticed how the Star Trek logo and the Acura logo look very similar? Well, there may be good reason for that, because the Acura RDX looks a little bit like a space shuttle, and it has some exclusive engineering. Well, let's ask the experts. Here's Dennis and Ian with our second behind the wheel, the 2007 Acura RDX. Thanks, Nick. Q Factor's first up for the Acura RDX, and I really like the real time navigation system that's got the traffic updates. I was driving along the freeway, traffic started getting bad. Just dial the little knob over to the freeway you're on, and it tells you exactly what's coming up. Yeah, it's nice to get those real time updates because if you are in traffic, it'll give you an alternate route so you can get out of just that. Who yeah. wants to sit in traffic these days? Now, I'm going to touch on one thing that we'll get to a little later in performance in depth. It's the SH all wheel drive system. Now, a lot of people understand all wheel drive transfers the power in the front front and rear. This system actually transfers it side to side and it's really kind of an intuitive system that tells the car what it's doing with a little bit more information. Now again, I have to talk about what you just said. The information system in the dash, it's, it, it's complicated to a certain degree, but it's also pretty easy to use. Now I had a little bit of a problem getting my Bluetooth to look up what it was. I mean, I was trying to get my phone to go on there, I was trying to do too many things and really kind of comes down what I need to do is shut up and drive once in a while. Yeah, it's got a great score. There's a lot of Q factor packed into this little rig, 4.25. Moving right along the curb appeal for the new RDX from Acura and well, I didn't really like it and Dennis did and we're kind of at this like meeting of two minds that, I don't know, I didn't like it. Well, I tried to persuade you and you tried to persuade me about whether we liked it or not. And then we also had Nick throwing his two cents in that he thought it looked like a space shuttle out of Star Trek. I think it looks like a Mitsubishi Outlander. Well, I, that might be a compliment or an insult depending on what manufacturer you work for. I like the way it looked. I like sharp edges. I like character in a vehicle. And I think it looked modern and I think it looked like an Acura. I think that's the way that they make their cars look and I think it looked I guess within the family, so to speak. Well, I, I agree that it looks like an Acura, but I think because it's so polarizing, we have to drop the score a little bit, maybe 3.25. Performance is up next for the RDX, and it's an Acura, so you expect performance, and you get it. 2.3 liter, four cylinder with a turbocharger. Yeah, 260 horsepower and 280 pounds feet of torque. And more importantly, it's where that torque gets transferred to. A five speed shift full transmission has a shifter in the center and shifters on the wheels. Nice kind of a performance car touch. And of course, that SH system I talked about earlier in the show. The way that that works is it can actually produce and make the torque or produce a route for the torque to go either to the front or the back, but also more importantly, from the left or the right. Now, I took the RDX to my favorite place. I took it on the beach. What better place to really go crazy? Now, a lot of people have seen it in rap videos. They take like a Diablo, a Lamborghini with all-wheel drive. They start doing spins right in the parking lot on the pavement. Well, it doesn't have that kind of power, but it did have enough to start doing that in the sand. And I really tested the way that you can feel the power go from side to side. You can see it in a gauge that's in the cluster. It'll tell you whether it's going from side to side. And then uh, more importantly, the way that I might have abused it more than I should have. I actually- He made it shut down. Okay, I was a little harder on it than I should have. I think that was a better way to put it. Yeah. Well, I think overall it's a pretty amazing system. 3.75. It could use more power, but we'll go for that. Now it's time for fit and finish for the new RDX from Acura. And well, inside it's, it's an Acura. I mean, it's put together perfectly. You can't fault it, really. Not at all. Well, you know, that's the thing. I mean, we've never given a perfect score out for fit and finish. The reason being, if there was a perfect score, one car company would make one car that never broke and then everybody else would be out of business. Yeah. For me, I gotta tell you this, it is an upscale Honda and that is not an insult to Honda, it's a compliment to Acura. Yeah. They are well-built cars, they will last forever and I really can't find anything wrong with it besides the fact that it just is an Acura. And looks like an Outlander. Well, that's another issue, but fit and finish, pretty strong. Yeah, overall, I mean, it's an amazing little vehicle. It's got some neat features like the rear tonneau, the deck cover for the cargo area. You can flip it over and put it down when you fold down the seats, and it's got a no-slip surface. It's just neat features like that that bring the score to 4.5. Finally, drivability for the new RDX from Acura. And when you wrap this whole package together with that lifetime traffic updating, its size, its usability, I mean, it's even able to tow 1,500 pounds, it's a great little truck. Well, I don't even know if that would be attributes. You know, to tell you the truth, I look at it with that 1,500 pound capacity for towing and the limited interior size, and I don't know if it's something that I would look at as a true SUV. No. It is a sport SUV, an urban SUV. I think the right buyer is gonna be really happy with it. It's a sport sedan hatchback combination. It's a jacked up wagon. 
I love that. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Now, will it make a person who's looking for that type of vehicle very happy with both the drive, the usability? Absolutely. If you got kids, you got dogs, you got a boat, just throw it out of the category. Yeah, 3.75, not all that great on the score. All right, let's recap the scores for the 2007 Acura RDX. For Q Factor, Dennis Nian gave it a 4.25. For Curb Appeal, a 3.25. In Performance, a 3.75. And Fit and Finish, a 4.5. Finally, in Drivability, they gave it a 3.75. The total for the 2007 Acura RDX is 19.5 out of a possible 25. When fuel returns, we're going to be in the pits.